right, this is problem 9.7, and we want to find the centroid of this volume. We recall the definition of centroid, in this case in C direction, in X and Y, since the figure is symmetric, will be over the C axis. So, it will be C, the differential of volume, divided by the total volume. So let's try to find, instead of doing an a, a integral over the volume, which is a triple integral, we can find a way to do just a one dimension integral. And we will draw like a coin over here. So this is a coin that has a height dc. And since we know the function that describes how this goes wider by y in terms of c, we can say this is y, right? This is y. The radius of that coin is equals to y. So my differential of volume will be equals to that plate, which is pi r squared differential of c, and the r we say that is y, so this differential of volume, we will be pi y squared differential of c. And of course, we have to write uh, my differential of volume in terms of only one variable, which will be my, in, my variable of integration, which is c. So therefore, I can write this as pi. And I get the formula or the, the relation between y squared and c, so I can substitute that by 0 0.5 c dc. And that's what I'm going to use for my differential of volume. And in this case, I was able to convert uh, a triple integral in terms of just one variable. So my c, which is my centroid, will be and now I use the limit of integration for the variable I choose to integrate, which is 0 to 2. And the uh, centroid of that coin is located at C. So I don't have to do anything but write C over here. And my differential of volume, which is pi 0 0.5 C dead C. And then that will be divided by my volume, which is another integral from 0 to 2 meters. And now I don't have to multiply by c, but only integrate the differential of volume, which is pi 0 0.5 c dc. OK, so we do that integral. Of course, we can take all the constants out of the integral. And as you know, well, they will cancel out, right? So I have here the integral of c squared dc from 0 to 2. And in the denominator, I will have pi 0 0.5. And the integral from 0 to 2, c dc. So those two terms cancel out. And then I have this integral will be c cubed over 3, evaluated between 0 and 2. And this integral will be c squared over 2, evaluated between 0 and 2. And then c will be equals to 2 thirds. I can cancel out one of the c's, right? This one over here, only that stays c, evaluated between 0 and 2. And therefore, my centroid is equal to 4 over 3 meters. And this is the solution for that centroid of that volume.